Hi everyone, this is Li Xin. Nice to meet you here. Today, I will talk about digital painting, especially about constant speed painting. Um, I really like such kind of way to training myself because you know, it's, uh, um, it's a great way to check your art foundation. Also, constant speed painting can use for you know, illustration, keyframe art, um, if you want to tell a story, this way is definitely a very good way to training your ability. Um, so in this video, I will share some of my thoughts um, and explain my steps. Uh, I hope you can learn something from this video. All right, uh, let's start it. So first of all, you will see this is the uh, final result. You will see uh, I still didn't you know, put a lot of detail, but uh, because uh, this is a constant of speed painting, so normally I spend around maybe, I think, uh, uh, four hours, I think, yeah. Um, so I will share the first step, because this step is like, uh, uh, I was just try to building a story. The story is like a man shopping in the market, very simple. Uh, you don't. You just need to think about the composition. Of course, uh, the perspective. Uh, you can also think about it. Um, the second step will be. You know, I need a building the relationship between. You know, the buyer or seller. So you need. You know, have some conversation. So this is like a basic story. Uh, how to building a basic basic story who, where, what are they doing? This is very important. And this is the basic elements that when I doing uh, a quick sketch or quick, you know, uh, speed painting. Um, so after this step, I will think about, uh, you know, the basic design for the character. Now, you know, the character should be female or male. Maybe he have a weapon uh, or maybe, you know, uh, he, he is not a human. So some, some like a kind of basic information because uh, uh, for this step, I still didn't search some reference. I am using like a imagination to just, you know, drawing some stuff. Uh, but you know, you will need to have a strong uh, uh, skills about lighting, anatomy. Uh, I th um, then, you know, for the next step, I, you know, I think the image, especially for the environment, uh, don't have a lot of story to tell. So I, you know, I make the um, I make the environment uh, have more information, which means uh, uh, can give the story more details. So you will see, I actually I didn't, you know, didn't touch this character, but I gave a lot of detail on these two characters, right? And uh, you know, I building some perspective through some stuff, some details like uh, this area, this area, and uh, the top area. So one, two, three area. It's a very good way to uh, to tell the to tell you my perspective. Uh, after that, I think about the you know the composition. Because you see, like uh, I use a very big shape for the top, so I wanted to create a very stable uh, train angle here. So the focal point will be this area. Uh, after that, I put a lot of detail for the you know for the environment, especially uh, this character. Because before, I think this character. Um, you know, like a cowboy, but it's not like match the story. So I change the character and uh, make his eyes look at uh, uh, this character. So I building a kind of relationship between these four, those four characters. So you will, you will feel that they may have some conversation, you know, uh, he maybe uh, ask uh, this person to buy something and uh, this person is checking the list you know 
Uh, so after that, I think the light is not very interesting. So I want to create a cold light. So basically, you know, I put a cold, cold light, cool light uh, on the top uh, because you know because the main light source is from the from here, not up, for, not from the door. It's from uh, you, because you can see a shadow, right? So it's behind uh, this character. It's uh, out of this uh, image. So I just using some, you know, uh, experience. I, I think I, I, I saw some, you know, reference in the, in some movie or in my memory, you know, so I think this kind of blue color, it's interesting. So I use the blue color for the cool light. Um, and uh, after that, you know, I try to give more details. So you will see the detail basically you just needed to define all different material. Uh, actually, you no, know, for define the material I was doing in uh, in the in the middle uh, steps. So, um, but uh, anyway, you needed to think about uh, define the materials because I think materials is very important because here you can see the wood, right? Uh, here is some like a uh, metal. Here is some like uh, uh, just simple wall, but but destroyed uh, by some weapon, I think. So um, you see, if you have like a, a good uh, a good way to define the material or texture, it can help you to reach your story, and uh, and uh, make the artwork. Uh, not like a more realistic. Um, also, you know, you can use some different color to make your artwork more interesting. Because you see, I use some like a blue color. So uh, here I put a uh, like a yellow. I think it's kind of like a balance. It's, you know, I, I feel like this can be work. And uh, here I have some cold color, like blue color. Because here I have some, you know, warm color. Um, so this is kind of like a, um, a way what I'm a way that I'm thinking how to create an art. Because in my opinion, the the artwork should be always like uh, you want to create some contrast. Also, you want to keep it balanced for all the elements, color, lighting, texture. They all have like a contrast and a balance. So the best way is, you know, you can keep a very good balance for all of these. And also, you know, have some uh, main contrast, like a focal point. It's hard, I know, but uh, it's very interesting. So this is why I really enjoy uh, content of speed painting. Um, because uh, I know a lot of artists, they, they will start online work. Uh, Actually, I did a lot of line work, but I, when I doing, you know, constant of speed painting, I won't do a line work because after you have a line work, um, then you will just need a rendering this image. It's like kind of like a little bit boring. So I, I'm enjoy, you know, uh, just doing a very rough sketch. Then I use my imagination or get some inspiration from some reference. Then I can, I just finish the images. This, this is like, uh, approach for me uh, can help me to test my ability. Also give me a lot of different inspiration. And uh, if you do a lot of practice, then when you have a job, uh, then you will have, you will know uh, if, if you can't find some suitable reference, how can you deal with your artwork and how to fix the problem from your artwork? So this is the basic information about what I want to talk. Uh, in the next, I will share, uh, share some about my uh, brushes. Uh, I, for this artwork, actually, I use four different brushes. The first brushes will be uh, this one. I like these brushes because uh, this brush uh, have very interesting, you know, uh, kind of like um, texture, right? You see, 
some interesting texture. Also, um, I like the shape, you know, because the edge is very hard. Can help me to to define the um, define the object. Also, um, I use um, software. I use round brush. Yes, round brush is for you know for the details because you see I actually I did a lot of uh, details on the characters which are which I use round brushes to deal with this. Um, the next brush will be you know I will use a lot of different kind of texture brushes. So I have like a two or three basic brushes to create the basic story. But if I wanted to define the details, define different texture, I will use different kind of, you know, texture brushes. Uh, all these kind of uh, different uh, texture brushes very help. Uh, it, it, and it, sometimes it works very well because you see I have so many different uh, brushes, but actually I didn't use all of them. Uh, I like, you know, um, when I create my artwork, I will test some new brushes for just to understand uh, these brushes, how to, if, uh, how, how to effect on my artwork and uh, maybe, you know, some interesting uh, texture brushes can give you a very good result can, you know, it's very interesting because sometimes it yeah, can be an accident. When you test the brush, like, you know, I can test uh, this brush and put it in some area. You know, maybe in this area, it will be very nice texture. So you just need to clean this area, right? So for the brushes, just just needed to remember you needed to uh, have one or two or three basic brushes for building the basic story or the basic information about your artwork then you will need to use a lot of different uh, texture brushes to define the texture this is what i wanted to talk about um also because i my style is like a more realistic style so if you like another style, like a cartoon style, maybe, you know, you don't have to learn something like a, a texture brush. You just need to uh, know how to use round brushes, soft and hard. So it really depends. Uh, if you really like a realistic style, so you will need to um, know how to use text brush, texture brushes. Also, what I want to say is um, uh, for Constant of speed of painting, it will need you to have very strong skills, especially on you know lighting, composition, color. Uh, I would like to suggest uh, you you know to separate all the practice. You can you know when you have time, you just need to do some like quick sketch for characters, quick sketch for you know color studies. Then one day you can combine all of them to doing some practice. I think this is very very good way to uh, to improve your skills. Uh, all right, I think uh, this is what I want to talk about today. <laughs> uh, I hope you can learn something from my thoughts and my explain about this artwork. Uh, if you have any question, you can you know send me a mail. I'll be happy to answer it. All right. Thank you.